What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Schmitty. I'm so happy to be back, ready to get back on the grind with you guys. I appreciate your patience. Um, my life has just been absolutely crazy this month, uh, just an absolute roller coaster. So I, I thank you guys so much. Uh, big shout out to our Discord family for uh, keeping me grounded through all of this. Um, but I love you guys, and I'm ready to get back at it. Guy Boston is about to turn up. We just hit 11,000 subscribers. Big shout out to the boy Ev holding it down, running NFL. And then we got NBA coming up. And I'm actually going to start doing NHL picks as well when the regular season comes around on the ice. And just big things to come here. 11,000 subscribers. We got to clap that up. Just absolutely unreal. And uh, we can't do it without you and uh, the support that this channel continues to get. And we love you so much. Uh, but without further ado, your boy Schmitty is back. It's time for Schmitty's MLB picks here on September 27th. Tuesday and you know what that means it's taco Tuesday it's back smell them eat them love them whatever you got to do we got a full 15 game slate uh, in Major League Baseball today I'm coming at you with my three favorite game plays are your fee of the day and a couple of player props for the people to munch on so let's get after it now I also have a little something extra for you guys uh, since I have been on quite the hiatus, that's for sure. And as, as you know, I'm testing out a new run here. I'm working on StreamYard here, and uh, hopefully that will just make my process way more simple, uh, much more simpler so I can bring you guys uh, easy content each and every day. That's what we want to do. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Obviously, just hit 11,000 subscribers and um and then uh drop a like for me yeah go ahead drop a like for me and shout out to our ballas for always holding it down we appreciate you guys and your endless support and um yeah uh we will be doing a ballers only giveaway here for our 11,000 subscriber milestone and check out all of our awesome gear at guybostonsports.com slash store i got it's a good day for a parlay going today but it's taco tuesday so let's jump right in without further ado um i'm gonna give you guys my picks just remember use the hashtag ride of the day if you want to be considered here on schmitty's mlb picks to be shouted out on tomorrow's episode drop your favorite play in the comments and my ballers use those special emojis that you get for being a baller we are ready to rock Let's dive into it. I'm freaking back, baby. Too fired up right now. Our first gameplay of the day. We are looking at the Cleveland Guardians hosting the Tampa Bay Rays in this one. Righties Corey Kluber and Shane Bieber are on the mound. Kluber 10 and 9, a 4.3 ERA, a 1.18 whip. Bieber 12 and 8, a 2.81 ERA, a 1.03 whip. I am taking the Guardians money line in this one. Uh, I think it's just a great spot for them. Uh, they're fourth in average and 12th in OPS versus righties. I like Cleveland being at home. I think Kluber is just a fade, especially on the road. Kluber three and six with a 5.05 ERA on the road. And now Bieber doesn't have impressive numbers, I would say, at home. But he's actually uh, pitched a four- uh, to one win the last time he saw the Rays, the one and only time this season. The Rays are two and five in their last seven, while Cleveland is tearing it up. They are 18 and three in their last 21. I found that out in my research. I'm like, I did not realize Cleveland was absolutely dominating uh, like this in the last month or so, but uh, just an unreal run. And they also clinched the AL Central. So, congratulations to the Guardians in their first season being the Guardians, so that's really cool. Uh, Tampa is obviously dominant at home, but on the road today, I like the value in the Guardians to win game one here of this series at home. First game of the day, let's start it off right. That's what I'm riding with. 
our second gameplay of the day. I'm looking at the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. Now, this game sailed over yesterday, which wasn't super surprising considering the pitching matchup. But tonight, Kyle Bradish and Michael Waka face off on the mound. These two guys have been very good as of late. Bradish has a 2.67 ERA since the All-Star break. Waka has a 2.31 ERA against the Orioles. I'm taking the under nine runs. Let's dial it up. Under nine runs in this one. We're getting a great value at minus 110. Um, I like these two pitchers uh, to do well, and the only thing is the Red Sox bullpen uh, is garbage, but Waka has a chance to go deep. He's been pitching really well and uh, deep in the ball games here. So the under is 3-1-1 one, and one in the last five meetings in Boston, and the under is 4-1 and one in the last five total meetings between these teams. It really should be a smooth pick for us unless one of these starters implodes. And uh, but being able to push on nine makes me even more confident in this play. Let's ride. It's Taco Tuesday. Get that back up. Get that back up. Oh, look, we're going to run another one. Look at that one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share our final gameplay of the day. Definitely a toss up here. I like a few different options, but it is really hard to pass up the Mets tonight. We are rocking the Mets stack. I think they're going to win on the first five. Uh, run line and then uh, game money line. I also am taking their game run line here today. Rydis Papa Lopez and Carlos Carrasco are your starters. And um, I'm taking, I love the Mets in this game. I just think that uh, Carlos Carrasco, he wins at home. That's what he does. He's nine and two with a 3.21 ERA. He's three and oh with a 2.1 ERA versus Miami this season. And then uh, Lopez is just one and three with uh, an over an 11 ERA. Absolutely disgusting. In four appearances versus the Mets this season, uh, the Mets just own Pablo Lopez. And I think we're getting a great value here. <laughs> we, we are nowhere near close to the minus 300. Uh, so I don't have to worry about the curse here on the Mets with this one. New York is five and one in the last six meetings against um and miami just has a hard time winning there in new york at city field and i'm also taking the over in the game uh over seven in this one the over is four and oh in the last four meetings between these two teams seven is a low number in my opinion especially if uh, i feel like the mets are going to put up a bunch of runs i definitely see this being at least a five to two affair um and the Mets could even put up more runs here today. Um, so that's what I like running here today. The Mets are trying to clinch uh, the NL East, obviously. And I just think it's a must play. So we are on it. Love me or fade me. Um, I also really like Seattle tonight. And the Rangers have a hard time against them. And especially in Seattle. So I was looking at the Mariners money line. Uh, or run line was another look. And then as far as first five team totals, I'm liking the Braves, Mets, Phillies, Cardinals, or the Brewers, Astros, and the Mariners for those first five team total overs. Um, some good values here today on those. It's time for our Yurfi pick of the day, where we think a first inning run will be scored. And I got to roll with the Cardinals, Brewers, Yurfi in this one. It's at minus 105. I think this is an incredible value here for two mediocre pitchers and Michaelis and Hauser on the mound in this one. Uh, that minus 105 is on DraftKings, and the line is at 8.5 too. So that means the the books are thinking that this could possibly see a, a, a run per inning if you look at it that way. And the Cardinals are fourth best in the MLB in first inning runs a game. Milwaukee is not – uh, too far behind and is actually fourth best uh, in first inning runs uh, at home uh, in the MLB. And it's just a good recipe here. I think this game has a good chance to go over. Actually, I was looking at the over eight and a half, a great value. Let's get it. It's taco Tuesday. You know what that means? I've got two players, uh, two player props for the people to munch on. And there are lots of guys I like for batter props here today. Uh, but if you have DraftKings, they are running a promo today for Aaron Judge 
plus 100 to get a hit, just a hit, guys, and he is beyond due. I actually love taking Aaron Judge's total bases. Well, you might as well not even take the total bases because – DK is giving you the plus 100 boost just to get a hit. So I love that. And then I even think that Aaron Judge is going to get a home run today. So I think that's probably why they're giving out this boost on the hit because the they don't want to get run up on uh, with people taking the home run. But I do like sprinkling on Judge's home run here today against Jose Barrios. He has great splits against him. And um, I just – I got to – it's he's chasing 61 here, baby. Uh, he's batting 400 with two home runs on eight hits against Barrios. So those are the numbers. And I just got to show some love for the guy, you know, and uh, you really can't go wrong with any of the Mets or Braves tops hitter hitters today. I really like Jeff McNeil, uh, Pete Alonzo, and then Austin Riley or Michael Harris for the Braves today. And then even Toronto, uh, these guys have pretty good numbers against uh, Jameson Tyon who's projected to start, Bichette, Guerrero, uh, Jansen. Uh, well, Jansen, whenever he's in the lineup as the catcher for the Blue Jays, I think that he just absolutely knocks the ball around. So it's a great option as well. Um, and I actually think that Yankees-Jays game probably goes over 7.5, to be honest with you guys. Uh, but moving on, our pitcher prop of the day, the final play of the day. And I really like Shane Bieber to get seven strikeouts. I like Lance McCullers to get seven strikeouts. But I think I'm going to go off the board here and take a guy in Logan Webb to get five strikeouts here today at plus money. Uh, my bad. Forgot to put the odds in there. But it's at plus 100 uh, for him to get five strikeouts. He's hit this number in seven of his last nine games, guys. And Colorado strikes out nearly nine times a game on the road. And uh, I, I really think that Logan Webb can get us five strikeouts here on plus money. Let's hope he doesn't suck it up and have a stinker when we decide to pick him. Um, but I really do like uh, taking the, our chances and taking the leap on this one, to be honest with you. So I think that is what we're going to do. And that will do it for Schmitty's MLB picks here today. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm so happy to be back. We have a lot of things coming. I'm even going to I'm going to have a uh, Boston Red Sox uh, season wrap up for you guys. And then uh, I'm going to start hopping on NFL previews here with Ev on uh, kind of branching out from the betting, actually uh, going to just talk about football in general, I think, and, and previewing the week ahead. And maybe we will give some picks as well or some of Schmitty's picks, of course, and team up with Ev on that and even start uh, maybe breaking down some fantasy football as well. And I told you guys I'll be doing NHL picks as well. So lots of great things ahead. I'm so stoked stoked um and but please like subscribe share follow us on twitter my twitter is at the ethan schmidt and of course at guy boston sports is the channel's twitter and uh, i appreciate you guys so much uh, of course join the discord hit me up on there dm me on twitter if you have questions you guys know i'm a man of the people i'm always here for you guys uh so let's get after it uh, I appreciate you guys. I'm Ethan Schmidt. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.